this drink too. I don't know if we have enough food. What's up guys? Bolton's Bites here. We got Toronto Food Reviews. The kid guys? himself, Marcello. Yes. Uh, basically today, we are at Best Istanbul. Uh, it's a Turkish restaurant in Kensington Market. They also have another location, I believe it's in North York, but yeah, today we're at the Kensington Market location. It's uh, newly opened. It opened this uh, this summer. <clears throat> and uh, finally, we're getting a chance to, uh, to actually give it a try. So we have a ton of food in front of us, as you uh, probably saw in the footage uh, before. We, got, uh, we have some pied which is like a Turkish pizza. We have Iskender kebab. We have a whole bunch of like mixed doner platters. We oh, got man. like a uh, doner like sandwich or wrap. Um, we got like some Turkish pudding and baklava for dessert. Baklava, shout out to Marv T.O. I know shout that, Marv. that smiley guy, he loves that baklava. Loves it. <laughs> we got the authentic um, Turkish soft drinks right here too. Yeah, did you take a sip of that yet? Yeah, this is actually good, it's like cream soda. Okay. So, okay, yeah, because I've had the orange one before. It's the brand. I hope I'm saying this right. Uludag. Hey, listen, if you're Turkish and I said it wrong, feel free to leave some uh, hate in the comments and uh, just rip me apart, you know? <laughs> like to shout out all of my uh, Turkish followers, Turkish friends. Mm -hmm. This one's going to be a nice video because we have here a amazing Turkish feast. When I say feast, I mean we have about 15 different items. Yeah, seriously. Let's get into it, man. I'm I'm so hungry. Now, I a uh, little backstory is I've had quite a bit of Turkish food within like the last year or two. Um, here, have some have some pie, buddy. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna take two. Why not? So again, this is pie or like Turkish pizza. Some call it. A little little uh, side note for the fans. Uh, do you eat your pie like this or do you roll it? I so, roll it. Uh, yeah, you can roll it. You can also put like, I usually do a little bit of full. Sometimes they'll also have like lemon and um, and some like herbs on the side that you can put in. Um, this came also with a little tomato. Yeah, a little backstory. I've had quite a few opportunities to have a little bit of Turkish uh, food uh, within like the last year or so. Um, so I'm not like a total stranger to it. Um, but yeah, basically today we have like a giant I would call it, you know what this is? This is a mukbang. Finally, mukbang. finally we are venturing into mukbang territory. So, uh, expect more of these videos uh, going forward because we don't want every video to just be like a review. Uh, I don't know if we're going to, I don't think we're going to be dropping a score for this one. Nope. <laughs> really good pie. So we're eating this. About 15 minutes after it came out, mm -hmm. 20 minutes. That's exactly what I was gonna say. With all this food, of course, we had to do about 10 to 10 to 15 minutes of like food photography. <laughs> really good. That would be even better if it was, you know, piping hot, but of course we left it for a little bit, so not even fair. I love the sesame seed on this bag. Mm. Toasted mm. sesame seed. Mm. All right. <laughs> What's next? Three, two, one. The muck begins. We get a wrap. Now it's gonna wrap each. Oh, I just stab myself with a. <laughs> this is a beef doner wrap. So you know when they have like the shawarma style spit that goes around, they shave off this and that's doner, put it in a wrap, it's delicious. Really nice handcuff fries. 
You know what they look like to me? Is they look like Swiss chalet fries. Really good. <laughs> Those are hand cut, actually, Swiss chalet fries. Oh yeah. All right. spread we showed you in the beginning of the video it's gonna be the beginning right this is the reason i love turkish food the diversification you go from like a pizza to a shawarma yeah to salads rice dishes every they have it all every platter too typically has like you know your meat your rice and some salad and you can kind of like they mix together perfectly i find want us to definitely try a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, I have some of these fries actually. Some salad here. Some big fries. That's what I mean. Like I wish um, there's some burger places that I could, uh, could say don't have fries that good. <laughs> sure. One thing our, about our buddy Toronto Food Reviews that you might not know is he's a little clumsy. Not to, uh, <laughs> only a little bit, not to hate, but <laughs> I, I just know that when he's around, we gotta be like a little bit careful that we don't knock shit over. Oh yeah. A little meat, a little salad. A little rice. Um, I've got to say as well, one thing when you uh, when you come here, you're going to see the the lower level first, but they have this upper level. And it's really cool up here, but when you're when you're just passing by as a uh, a uh, like outside the window, you actually don't like they don't have a lot of seating down there. So you would think that the place is quiet, but uh, what place. I'm what I'm seeing uh, today is that it's actually quite busy. Like I don't even know how many groups have been uh, been through this top check section since we've been here. So glad this is here too because Kensington Market needed a really good Turkish restaurant. I don't know if it's just because my attention has been more focused on um, Turkish restaurants in the last like year or so, but I've noticed that there's like, there's a ton of them popping up in Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, a lot, of, a lot of Turkish business owners as well. And uh, I'm not mad at it, you know, because I love Turkish food, so. crazy to think that like <laughs> imagine if we could actually finish all this food <laughs> no way but we can definitely uh, sample a bit of everything this one has got to taste the fries with a bit of that chicken yeah there. they go like this so that do this chicken is like ooh. I think with Turkish food it's meant to kind of be like 
mixed up a little bit, you know, like take some of the fries, mix it with the salad, mix it with a bit of the meat. <laughs> the fake sama, is that how you say? Yeah, I'm it. Oh, did, no, no, that's um, that's Iskender kebab. Um, oh, yeah. Fake sama is like the uh, mm -hmm. lamb and veal, typically, um, kind of made into like one uh, long kebab, but then wrapped in uh, the wood fired oven bread and then cut up into like little bits that you then like dip into the yogurt typically that's the reason that's the reason why you probably thought that was beti uh, sandwich because it's got the yogurt oh, yeah, right yeah. on the end really good food man Hot sauce for you too. Back to the wrap. How spicy is it? Um, for me, just a little bit of kick. Nothing too crazy. For you, I'm not sure. <laughs> You know, one day, I actually would like to go to Turkey. Go to Istanbul. <coughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> when you have them on its own. <laughs> it's all about. I don't know. Let's get some kick. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Let us know where you guys are from um, in the comments as well, if you're from Turkey and uh, that kind of thing too. Because hopefully, uh, hopefully this video reaches some people over in Turkey. I also would love to thank all of our Filipino followers for all the support they showed us in the uh, Jollibee video. <laughs> We're probably gonna be doing a, a Jollibee, Jollibee round two because um, there's quite a few dishes that we didn't get to try on the first uh, time we went. Like the spaghetti and uh, spaghetti is the main one. Anything else that we didn't, uh, we have the extra different chicken and gravy. Mm. You guys killed us for that. A lot more dippage. <laughs> Well, I know you're not a fan of eggs. There's uh, one of our pie has like some like sunny side up fried eggs on it. I'll grab the end piece. I was gonna say there's not no egg on it. I might just I'm gonna dip it in the egg. See that yolk drip. I believe that he's also planning on having a uh, Turkish breakfast available here soon, so look up for that. Oh man, I'm actually getting full <laughs> already. I bit off more than I can chew. Literally, yeah, pun intended. It's gonna be interesting to see when we actually tap out. You try a little baklava, you try a little bit of um, kanefe. Have you had baklava? Want to grab it? I don't know if I have peanuts in it, but I thought. Oh, it has pistachio. That's fine. That's okay? Mm -hmm. Let me Google this place. Um, one sec, one sec. Is there sauce in it? Is there? Mm -hmm. no. It was 
That's some really good baklava. Very sweet. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, nice and flaky. Smiley, you gotta get yourself down here. So, did you Google it? Are you gonna, are you gonna die from it? <laughs> he just has a slight peanut allergy. Nothing too crazy, right? You know what Turkish food is perfect for? And that's why I was thinking of doing this. But I didn't have time this morning. I'm trying to like hit the gym more often and that kind of thing. Um, and I thought to myself, oh man, like this feast is going to be perfect as a post-workout meal. Because this is the kind of meal like you have to earn it. Because it's so many like carbs and, and protein and all that. Like, so are you going to have the buck? Did you? I have one. Oh, I really like it. Really good. But we took actually a pretty nice stab at it. I know that if we, if we get into those no, sandwiches, I'm like, no way. Need a bite? I don't know. The best thing we could do is like half, half one of them. Mm -hmm. So I'd say more of that chicken one. Mm -hmm. Could you pass that Iskender kebab? Hashtag Iskender kebab. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that once. Yeah, it's sweet. It's actually a little bit bitter. Well, no. Stay away. Yeah, anyone, anyone Turkish in the audience will definitely uh, know this one. It's called like Ayran, but it's like a kind of like a bitter oh, yeah. yogurt drink. Actually, people really like it though.
Keep asking me happy. <laughs> oh man, he's going into that food for me. Congratulations also to Marcello. You just hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. Yes, I'd like to give a big shout out to Mike actually for teaching me the ropes of Instagram. And you know, showing me how to go to restaurants, how to take content, good photos, great captions. <sighs> Thanks, buddy. No problem, buddy. It's been a fun ride. It actually all started in Kensington Market. Yeah, first place we went to, uh, we planned to meet up at Top Gun Burgers just down the, uh, down the road there. Oh, you gotta get into those. What is that? that that's that square thing right there. The dessert. Oh, what is that again? Uh, Kenafe. That's that thing we had before, right? Yeah. Well, it's not something you not cutting. No, because usually you get it when it's like. Oh, it's hard to watch. <laughs> oh, my turkey is wrong. Damn, it's good. basically got into everything everything other than the, um, the sandwiches should we do it just to say that we did <laughs> and so, definitely the chicken man. find beef heavier mm -hmm. here put on yours to cut Will Toronto Food Reviews be able to do it with a, with a uh, dull knife? <laughs> This has like, has fries in it, has uh, chicken donair. It also has uh, these, which are like some sort of a, is it pickle? Yeah, I think it's just pickle. Is it what? I'm tapping out after this course. <laughs> softer than you think. Mm -hmm. So much of the quality of a sandwich comes down to using the right the right bun, the right bread. Like a 
a bad bun can just throw off an entire sandwich. This is a good sandwich, a good bun. <clears throat> Exactly. Can't stress that enough. Hmm. I thought it was gonna take just one bite of this, but it's so good that <laughs> I ate breakfast today. Oh you did. Okay. I didn't <laughs> I just have a little coffee. Nothing works your appetite up from just nothing but coffee in the morning. Well, you know what? You should get a little crazy. I want you to try this. Alright. Pour it in the I don't know if I can get it in that. Want to try? Skills. Nice. Okay. Oh wow, you think you're gonna like it, I guess, eh? Cheers. It's kind of um, quite salty. It's kind of like a salty, liquid yogurt, slightly bitter. I actually kind of like it. It's good. He's just like no comment. <laughs> it's good. Okay. Refreshing. That would be nice. Left out on a hot summer day. <laughs> <laughs> it's ever so slightly curdled, you know? Yeah. Actually, uh, speaking of summer days, it's a, actually a beautiful day for like, we're almost in January now. Um, Canada, eh? <laughs> Holy. It's, it's like six, six or eight, six degrees out with like a high of eight today. So uh, definitely a bit warmer than what we've been having. But so far it's kind of, it's been kind of a mild winter. Nothing too crazy yet. No. Really nice. Well, a lot of food, man. I think I think up. that about sums it up. Um, we had a bit, almost a bit of everything, except for that pudding. It's sweet or is it like a? It's sweet, yeah. Here, ah. put a spoon there. Two of them. Oh, very one. So you take your spoon. And I'll, I'll use my fork. Oh, it's almost like a tapioca style pudding. <laughs> amazing food, amazing. Okay, that's really nice. Damn, I'm, I'm glad we had some of that before. I really said I uh, didn't grab more. I have water. Okay. Let me still look. Right? right. I'm back. The, the, the owner just walked by and turned on the light there. I'm just really hoping that it's not going to be like <laughs> you turn on the light, you realize, oh, that would that would have been nice for the video, wouldn't it? <laughs> and so I'm a firm believer that you have two stomachs: one for you know your dinner, and then one for the dessert. I think you also have two stomachs: one for like average mediocre food and then for like really amazing food i think suddenly you can find that extra space you know and that's what i think we're doing right now <laughs> this pudding is like a highlight of the of the meal man i gotta say everything was like top notch this um, is like actually some of the some of the best Turkish food that I've personally had. I was about to say that about um, you. <laughs> I, I, and I've had some some pretty great Turkish. This is a food contender stuff. for best Turkish restaurant in the Toronto and the GTA. Yeah, I mean, as, as far as what from what I've had so and far, this is like not even like this is probably one of the one of the top three that I've had. <laughs> really good. 
One of the best. For sure. I don't think there's... You're all good. That's <laughs> good. Sorry about that, guys. We had some technical difficulties and the, the video cut out right as we were about to wrap up. But um, hey, listen, that was some amazing Turkish food. Marcello here is already about to pass out, oh, go yeah. into a food coma. A food coma. Um, best Istanbul, it's right here in Kensington Market. Definitely check it out for yourself. Marcello, anything to say? It's like to tell everyone, that feast was delicious. And uh, for all my, uh, for our all our Turkish uh, friends and followers, Thank you for having the best, most amazing cuisine. Make sure to come down to the Kensington Market to Best Istanbul and check this place out for yourself, guys. We'll see you later. Bolton's Bites. Catch Toronto you next food time. Reviews. Adios. Take care.